I read an article about uh, an interview that uh, Jerry Schwartz of the Atlanta Constitution wrote, uh, in which you said you were all over the lot. You know, uh, you liked Charlie's Angels. Yes. Uh, but you, uh, because why? Uh, because it's the only romantic television show today. It's not realistic. It's not about the gutter. It's not about the, the half-wit, retarded children, and all the other kind of shows today. It's about three attractive girls doing impossible things. And because they're impossible, that's what makes it interesting. It shows three young girls who are better than so-called real life. Yeah, and you like and that's that. That's a romantic uh, school of literature. Uh, you want art to be romantic, don't you? Oh, sir. You're not crazy then about art which reflects life. Not the life of the moment. Well, I want art that reflects life long range. All right. I uh, had a problem with understanding Miss Rand's philosophy at the beginning or earlier in the show. She said that uh, she only believed in a romantic type of art and didn't believe in things that were based on realism. Or I'm she didn't think that you don't think art should necessarily reflect reflect life, especially life as it is today. Exactly, and I recognize other schools of art, only I don't like them. The I, I just found I prefer that prefer is romanticism. I just found that a little bit uh, contradictory with uh, then when she said uh, in terms of religion that uh, she didn't believe uh, in religion as we do because it's not based on realism, as she said. In, more uh, mysticism. You're mixing categories. You see, the issue of religion is metaphysical. It's uh, so in nature, in reality. Now, art is not metaphysics. It's not there without man. Art is man-made. It's a product of man. And wh when it's a product of man, you don't have to copy it. You don't have to say this is a fact because ten men did it that way. You create your own art, or you like a school of which there is only one representative. Anything that is man-made is open to reason, but not by the same kind of mental process as metaphysical or scientific factual issues. For instance, here I can only recommend that you read my book, The Romantic Manifesto, because I couldn't cover it in a few minutes the reasons why I can demonstrate to you that romanticism is the best school of art. The best, most justifiable, but not the only one. Over here, the books or writers that influenced you in those formative years? Only one. Uh, one philosopher and one writer. As far as writers go, Victor Hugo, whom I discovered at 13, and that was the greatest literary experience I ever had. Incomparable and incommunicable. Uh, I admired him enormously. The sense of lives that he communicated, the glamour, the grandeur of men, was so high above anything I had encountered in any other books and certainly in another universe as compared to the reality of Soviet Russia, uh, that uh, I to this day owe an enormous debt of gratitude to Victor Hugo. And it's from him, in effect, that I learned uh, the art of the romantic novel in the serious sense of the word, the integration of plot, of action, with the theme and the philosophical meaning of a book. I don't agree with his philosophy, but I admire him as a writer tremendously. The other influence is, of course, Aristotle in philosophy, who is the only philosopher with whom I agree, at least in fundamentals, not in everything, but in that which is originally his. Mm -hmm. not in the platonic element in him. Why do you object to, or uh, why do you not like novels which are close to life as it really is, naturalism? Because I don't think it's art. It's not art. It, it's partly art. Mm -hmm. In other words, a naturalistic novel is an incomplete work of art. It has certain elements uh, of art, such as characterization, or some of them have a good style. Mm -hmm. All that is artistic. But art primarily, and that I can prove philosophically, is a recreation of reality, not a phot photograph. Art is not journalism. It is a recreation of reality according to an author's metaphysical value judgments. Metaphysical Does that mean that meaning. you write only about what ought to be, not what is? Uh, 
Yes, but let me finish. Mm -hmm. I use the big words, so I want to be sure that the audience does mm -hmm. understand me. By metaphysical, I mean the nature of reality as such, the nature of existence. It's his view of man and of the nature of existence that a writer or any artist really uh, expresses in art. And uh, romantic art presents to man what he might be and ought to be. That is, it presents an ideal and tells man this is the essential nature of man, and you as a human being can become that if you wish. So that uh, art in that sense, romantic art, is model building. Not, however, and I emphasize that, not for the purpose of improving or teaching your uh, something to your readers. Not teaching. Oh, not teaching. Art should never be the didactic. That's a secondary issue. That's pure gravy. Uh, the primary purpose of art is contemplation for its own sake. So that the purpose here is for the reader to see what greatness man is capable of is, and to be inspired by is that. So as I read Atlas Shrug then, uh, and any one of the heroic characters, Hank Reardon or John Galt or uh, Fran Francisco, these give me a model of the kind of person I might be? If you wish, but yeah. that isn't my purpose in writing. I see. My purpose is for you to look at those people mm. and to enjoy the spectacle. As a secondary consequence, you might find yourself inspired, yeah. that's fine. But I want to give you that experience. And that's what I want to give myself. I write for the purpose of creating an ideal man in actions which you can respect and admire. Uh, from what you say about art, I would judge you do not regard photography as art, since it records precisely what is there. How do you feel about abstract art? Uh, do you mean non-objective? Non-objective, yes. I think it's... Uh, uh, less art than photography, I think it is an enormous fraud. Fraud? Yes. Mm. I don't think there's... Um, it's impossible to discuss it seriously. Mm. It means nothing, it is nothing. The perpetrators claim that they don't know what they're doing, and I think they're right. I'm willing to take them at their words. They don't know what they're doing, and neither do we. And. Um, the Ashken is the proper place for it. Mm. But I mean it seriously. Yes, I know, I know you mean it seriously. Just as in philosophy, she rejects every version of the mystic soul-body dichotomy, theory versus practice, thought versus action, morality versus happiness. So in literature, she rejects the expression of the same dichotomy, the belief that a profound novel cannot be entertaining and that an entertaining novel cannot be profound, that a serious philosophical novel cannot have a dramatic plot, and that a dramatic plot novel cannot possibly be serious or philosophical. For good or evil, intentionally or otherwise, every work of art is a psychological confession. Through that which he chooses to present, an artist declares to the world, this is what I think is important important for me to project and for others to perceive. This is the world as I see it. This is the essence of things. This is what matters. If a writer chooses to present as the chief object of his focus, intelligence, ability, integrity, and the pursuit and achievement of great and demanding values, he reveals one kind of soul and view of life. If another writer chooses to present as his chief object of focus, mediocrity, helplessness, depravity, suffering, and defeat, he reveals a different kind of soul and view of life. In either case, what has been projected is a metaphysical estimate of man's existence, even if the author knows that estimate only in the form of an emotion, of that which feels right to him in the creative process.